Good morning. This video is for all of my drone operator friends. So if you're a Part 107 uh, drone pilot, you probably uh, have read somewhere that the FAA recommends that you monitor the aircraft frequencies or the control tower frequencies when you're out flying your drone around or in controlled airspaces. So I look into two or three different ways to do that. Um, anywhere from scanners to, you know, little pocket radios that'll pick up airband. I didn't care for any of them. Uh, so what I have chosen today to show you is this a Yesu. This is a FTA 550 because I'm a radio guy. So this is what the box looks like when you get it. I'm not doing an unboxing because I think, in my opinion, unboxing videos are retarded. I won't do it. That's what I think you do with the box. <laughs> Throw it away. So this is the radio. Um, it comes with um, a 12-volt uh, adapter which is pretty cool. Uh, it comes with this little guy here, which is a headphone microphone adapter. Uh, plugs into the side right here. Uh, it does have a little rubber port there to cover the, uh, the 12 volt charging port. Uh, it also has a handy dandy little USB port. This particular one, um, comes with a double A battery pack. And you go on double A battery pack. Now you've seen these on other videos. Just a just a container that holds six double A batteries. And it, you know this goes in just like all of the others, snaps in place. Now this one does have a cool little locking gizmo on the bottom here. So once you throw that you can't accidentally pop out the battery which would be important if you were actually trying to talk to the control tower on this thing. Uh, let me turn it on. I want to show you for drone operators, I think this is one of the most important settings uh, on this radio. Uh, and <clears throat> you'll know that you are not legally supposed to talk to radios or talk to the control tower as a drone operator. You're supposed to be listening. So I'm going to put my glasses on here so I can see and I'm going to show you this this very important setting. I may have to go to the other camera. Let me I'm going to take this into the other camera uh, and then I'm going to I'll show you this setting on here. I'm also going to show you how to program this because the software that you download from the ASU site really works pretty well. You may or may not know where to get the frequencies to put in this guy. Now I've got some in here for my local airport. I kind of live right between two controlled airspaces. Uh, you know, a mile that way and I'd have to get clearance and a mile that way and I'd have to get clearance. So I'm right in the middle <clears throat> of two controlled airspaces. So when I go down to the park and fly, this is kind of important to me. So I'm going to show you how to, to find the frequencies to put in this guy and uh, and then I want to show you also uh, one other very important uh, configuration. Okay so stand by here it comes. Okay, so here is the screen uh, a little bit closer, so maybe you can see it. Uh, and let's turn it on. As soon as you turn it on, you will see this notification. You just have to enter to agree. There's my memory frequencies. Now the configuration that I want to show you that I think is very important. Let me go in here. You select your menu. 
and you want to get down here to set up so you just hit enter until you get to set up enter come down to configuration enter come down here to PTT lock okay there's up is unlock down is lock select that <clears throat> you do not want to accidentally hit the PTT button and transmit on a frequency if you're moving this thing in and out of your car in and out of your pocket maybe it gets hung up on your vest somewhere and, and this thing dead keys that could be very dangerous for somebody uh, even if it doesn't dead key you don't want to uh, make uh, transmissions onto those frequencies even by accident so this PTT lock is very important okay so I'll go back here <clears throat> Another useful tool is the weather. We'll select that and you'll see it comes up with your weather stations. Okay, go back to memory. We'll go. You Calm is kind of like your VFO mode in. Uh, uh, amateur radio where you just punch in the frequency you want and then you can also put it leave it in the memory mode which shows you all of your memories okay so that's the important the main thing that you want to see from here is to putting this PTT into lock mode so that as a drone operator an amateur radio operator uh, a aircraft enthusiast that you don't accidentally transmit on these frequencies okay the other thing you have to be mindful of is when you're getting ready to program it with the software I'll uh, show you here real quick hold down the menu button when you turn it on and it'll come up in CP mode Okay, let's move over to the computer and I'll show you how to use the software. Okay, so after we've downloaded the uh, software from the Yaesu site, no big deal, you just go to yaesu.com, look up the device number, download the software. It creates this little shortcut, looks like this. And we open it up. There it is. Now we've already got our uh, radio... Uh, plugged into the USB port and turned on into the CP mode. So let's do a quick uh, read from the radio. Uh, this window pops up here. Click start and you can see the progress. It only takes a couple seconds. It's, it's not very long at all. Alright, so now if we look at the memory book, you can see the... Um, frequencies and that I've programmed in there so where do we get these frequencies from um, on your web page uh, I'm gonna go to uh, skyvector.com let me see if I can get this to fit the screen here uh, that's pretty close skyvector.com and skyvector.com is essentially a section map of the entire United States and I just know because I've been in here a million times <clears throat> this is the Dallas Fort Worth Airport and I'm just gonna zoom in zoom 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 alright so this alliance well, that's as far as I can zoom. Uh, Alliance AFW. Their control tower number is 135.15. If I go back over here to my software, you can see that's what I got. 135.15. And down here on the Alliance, which is kind of just below me here, or excuse me, Meacham, you can see they are, their control tower is 118.3 and there we go 118.3 okay so that's how you find the airport frequencies real easy skyvector.com 
uh, the software works very well. You just click add new, punch in the name of the airport, the frequency. If you can find the latitude and longitude, you can add that in there. Hit save and then transfer to the radio and you're done. Easy peasy. Okay, so there you go. There's your uh, Yasu or Yasu FTA-550. If you're a drone pilot or just an aircraft enthusiast, this is a great radio to uh, monitor the frequencies of whatever air traffic control or automated weather broadcast you want to use. Now, among other things, uh, besides uh, being able to program the um, air traffic control that you choose, it also has the built-in weather channels. So you can also monitor the weather channels from here also. Um, uh, it, I mean, it's just a, it's a really cool, it's really sturdy, really, you know, it, it, it's going to stand up and hold, hold up for you. Now I have put a uh, link, an Amazon link for this radio down in the comments below. Uh, if you're interested in that, please check it out. Okay, um, make sure you subscribe and uh, click that little ding dong bell thing there so you get notifications when we post up new videos. We'll try to be putting up more videos all the time, so make sure you check that. That's it for now and uh, have fun.